Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a wet frosted glass effect in Photoshop using Photoshop filters, adjustment layers, and layer styles. You can download the project files to see how everything was put together and have files to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. So here's the image that we're going to be working with and it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. If your image is a lot bigger or a lot smaller than the one we're using, just keep that in mind because you'll probably need to adjust some of the values that we're going to be using in our example. So the first thing that I want to do is turn my background into a smart object. So I'm going to come over to the layers panel and right click it and choose convert to smart object. Next I'll come up and click filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I want to apply a blur of about 75 pixels. Next, I'm going to double click my layer in the Layers palette to open the Layer Style dialog. And first, I'm going to give it a color overlay. So I'm going to come up here and choose a nice blue color, and I already have it picked out ahead of time. So the hex code for our color is 0095FF, which is a nice bright blue. Then I'm going to change the blend mode to color and bring the opacity down all the way to about 20%. And that will make it look kind of like we're looking through a clear bluish glass. Next, I'm going to add a pattern to give it the frosted look. So if you come over and click the arrow in your pattern picker, the pattern that we're going to be using can be found if you click this little icon here and choose Erodible Textures. And these are default textures with Photoshop. So the one that we're going to be using is called Rough, and it's just the first texture in that pack. Then I'm going to set the blend mode for that to Linear Dodge and bring the opacity down all the way to about 7%. And that's it for our layer style. So now we have a kind of frosted glass effect. Next, we're going to create a new layer. And using the paint bucket tool, I'm going to fill that with black. And then I'll click Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I'm going to leave the amount at 100%. And I'm going to use a Gaussian distribution and check monochromatic to give us some nice black and white noise. Next, I'll come up and click Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur again. And I'm going to set the radius to about 10 pixels. If you want your water drops to be a little smaller, use a smaller number here. And if you want them bigger, use a bigger number. Ours are going to be somewhere in between, so 10 pixels is good. Next, you'll come over to your adjustments palette, and you're going to add a threshold layer adjustment. Then you just adjust the slider until you get some nice looking blobs on your image. Somewhere around 80 to 85 will look good. Next, we're going to use our magic wand tool, and you want to make sure that contiguous is unchecked. And you want to make sure that you have the threshold layer selected, and just click on one of your white shapes, and that will select everything white in the image. Then you want to come up and click Refine Edge, and all we're going to do here is adjust the smooth all the way up to about 65 or so. And you can see how that gets rid of the jagged edges and kind of smooths these shapes. Next, I'll come down here and I'll create a new solid color fill layer. And when we do that, it's going to create a new layer mask based on our selection. The color doesn't really matter because we're going to hide that and use layer styles instead. So I'm just going to leave it at black and hit OK. So if I hide my two layers that I created previously, you can see the shapes that we've made. Now, I have this style saved, so I'm going to come up to my Styles palette and just click my Water Drops Layer Style to apply it. And you'll see that we have nice, wet effect. Since this isn't a layer styles tutorial, I'm not going to go over the effects that I used in depth, but you can find the layer style file in the project files if you want to load it in and dissect exactly how it was put together. Now if I come to the edges of my water drops, you'll see that they're kind of contained within the edges of my canvas, and that kind of looks unnatural depending on the look you're going for. So what I'm going to do is simply click and resize them by about 10 or 20 pixels just so those edges disappear beyond the edges of my canvas. And you can see since we scaled it just a little bit, there's not going to be any artifacts on your water drops. Lastly, I'm going to duplicate my bottom layer by pressing Ctrl J. And I'm going to move that to the top of my layers and disable the pattern overlay effect. And then I'm just going to change the blend mode to color dodge and set the fill opacity to about 30%. And that will kind of make it look like light is coming through our glass and water and just making it glow a little bit. This is a great way to turn any photo into a more interesting background for your designs. I'm John Shaver for Design Panoply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.